In this video, I want to share with you a low competition evergreen niche that is selling on Amazon. Hello everyone, my name is Mike. I'm a full-time print-on-demand seller. I make YouTube videos showing you how to make more money on Merch by Amazon and Etsy. If you like this kind of content and you get any value out of this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, click the bell, and like the video. Now before I share with you that low competition niche for Merch by Amazon, I just want to do a quick sales update. So it is Monday, 8.46 p.m. doing a video kind of late today, uh, but I'm sitting at 38 sales, 4 returns, $40 in royalties. That is going to put me at 1400 sales for the month and $2,087 for the month of March. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post my sales for both Merch by Amazon and Etsy, the link is in the description. I also post like gym picks, entrepreneur picks, lifestyle picks, just like my life down here in Mexico. I'm born and raised in Mill Valley, California, but I've been living in beautiful Puerto Vallarta, Mexico for the past uh, 18 years. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the content of the video. So first, let me just share with you how I found this niche. And one thing that I've been preaching on this channel for the past few months um, is that I always try to have like an ear out and an eye out for niches. And a lot of the niches that I find um, are just like online, on, like I'm on YouTube or I'm on TikTok, things like that. So I was actually on YouTube this morning and this video popped up about um, uh, woolly mammoths. And this video right here is talking about how uh, scientists are trying to bring back the woolly mammoth. That's actually a pretty cool video. So a modern day woolly mam mammoth may just be a few years away. If you don't know what woolly, woolly mammoths are, it's basically this animal right here that was around about 4,000 years ago. Uh, from my understanding, it's basically like a big hairy um, elephant with these big tusks. Um, so I was just watching this video and then I just thought to myself, okay, so is woolly mammoth a niche? And so what I did is I just do what I always do. I jumped on over to Merchant, Merchant Former. I typed it in, hit enter, and look at this. We're going to see that there is very little competition for this niche. If I remember correctly, I think it was around 200. Yeah, so only 200 merch by Amazon shirts, not clothing products on Amazon. A lot of people have been calling me out as of late saying that my research is wrong. I'm just researching, or these results right here are just merch by Amazon shirts. Shirts that, shirts that come with prime benefits, free shipping and next day shipping. If you just go to Amazon and you type in Willie Mammoth uh, t-shirts, there's probably going to be more results that come up, but you're searching clothing products. All right, I'm just searching merch by Amazon shirts. Um, but right here, we're going to see there's only 208 Merch by Amazon results. And when we go to the third page, we're going to see that there's still only 208 Merch by Amazon results. Um, it should say it right here. We can also fact check this with, um, well, it's not showing the productor. But right here, we're going to see that almost all of these designs are selling. So this first row right here, all four have BSRs. Two of them have reviews. The next four, we're going to see that three out of the four have BSRs. This one actually has a pretty good uh, uh, sales ranking right here, 376,000. Uh, this next row all have BSRs. This next row also all has BSRs. Again, so almost all of the designs or listings on this first page are selling, and it is low in competition, and it's an evergreen niche, so this will sell all year round. Probably pick up, I'm assuming, maybe around Halloween or Christmas during Q4. All right, so pretty much checking off all the boxes. It's low in competition. Um, you know, it is selling and it is evergreen. So it's good. Now, once we know that, what we want to do is we want to check to see if it is trademark. So we go over here to test or to upso um, and we type in woolly mammoth and we're going to see that in the 025 category, we do have um, this one right here that says Wally the woolly mammoth and it is in the 025 category and it does says shirts. But this trademark is for Wally the Woolly Mammal, not for just Woolly Mammoth. If it if this did not say Wally the and it was just Woolly Mammoth, um, then it would be off limits. We won't be able to touch it. But this trademark is for Wally the Woolly Mammoth, so you won't be able to do a T-shirt that says Wally the Woolly Mammoth. Um, so that's how trademarks work. Um, so just the keyword Woolly Mammoth is safe to use. And so now that we know that it's safe, it's not trademark, we want to design for it. So I like to go to Creative Fabrica to get my clip art, my fonts, and even my designs. Now there's not a whole bunch on Creative Fabrica, but I did find this one right here. And I used one of one of uh, these clip arts for one of, my, one of my designs, which I'll show you here in a second. I also used this one as well. So there are some options, um, but I think maybe AI would be probably the best bet. So whether you have like Mid Journey or Ideogram, but now let's go ahead and take a look at some of my designs that I made on Photoshop. Now I'm not the best uh, graphic designer. I basically just taught myself on Photoshop and I don't even use Illustrator. Usually the best designers use Illustrator. I just use Photoshop, taught myself. But let's go ahead and take a look at the first design that I came up with. Um, so right here, this one, 
woolly mammoth is my spirit animal so this phrase like you basically put in the niche usually it's going to be an animal and it's going to be the niche is my spirit animal we have seen that this phrase do very well over the years and i'm combining it with the retro sunset which we also know is a very popular design style i got this clip art right here from creative fabrica i believe it is this one right here i just changed the color to black and then the font color font uh, t or not font color but the font that i'm using let me just double check. I'm pretty sure it's Bernier. I won't well, let me click on it. But it is this one right here. Yeah, Bernier Distressed. All right, so that's the font that I'm using. And what do you guys think? I think that looks pretty good. That's actually the one that I decided to upload. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, and then the next one that I came up with was this one right here. And the reason why I like this one, I'm Wooly Awesome, is because it's a play on words. And if you've been following the channel for a while, you know that I really like these play on word funny designs. I think this is a good one for like toddlers, kids, uh, boys, girls. Um, you could also do like just a boy that loves Wooly Mammoths or just a girl that loves Wooly Mammoths. Um, but this could be good for also maybe like birthdays. I'm talking about like the clip art right here. And I got the clip art also from Creative Fabrica, which was this one uh, right here. And they had a few. So if you want to sign up for Creative Fabric, I have an affiliate link in the description. Um, let's go back and take a look at the next one that I came up with. So the next one that I came up with, came up with was just a text design. All right, so you don't have to use clip art. You can just use text. And is this one right here. This is my woolly mammoth costume. We know that this design phrase does really well during Halloween. Um, the only problem with this uh, phrase is that, you know, usually the main, like the ones that sell the best are already taken. But I like this one because there's probably not going to be too many woolly mammoth um you know shirts saying this right here maybe put it on like a black i'm sorry not black but a brown like the color of a woolly mammoth um, use that as the mock-up that could help and then since i've seen so many of your guys designs using ai i figured i had to pick my game up and do some ai design so i actually got this one right here i did this on ideogram um, i should just show you real quick right here this is the uh, prompt that I use huge woolly mammoth walking on snow large tusk uh, portrait and I actually just copy this prompt from one of the uh, Amazon listings I think it was yeah this one right here so I saw this one was doing pretty cool and so I just copied this actual title right here and use that as the prompt and I was able to get this design right here the only problem like if we look at my design here I don't know how to make it like jagged on the edges if we go back here to this one you see how it has a jagged like like this so if anybody knows how to do this, if you let me know in the comments, I'd really appreciate it. But again, you know, you don't have to get like a uh, design with text. You can just get something like this. And I actually saw a lot where it was just like the image without text. So this one doesn't have any text. We see it's got a BSR under a million. This one also, no text, no text. So three out of the top four on the first page don't have any text. So you can just go to Ideogram, get a design like this right here. Um, and you know you're gonna have to probably do something on the edges to make it look kind of nicer again if anybody let me knows or if anybody knows how to do that just let me know in the comments um, but those are the four designs that i came up with let me know which your which one was your favorite this is my favorite right here and now that we have the design now we want to go ahead to uh merge by amazon and go ahead and uh, upload it so i went ahead and uploaded it i'm putting it on all the colors um i'm using uh, men women and youth as you can see right here and these are the keywords that I'm using now again like I always say I'm not the best when it comes to keywords I like to just keep it pretty simple so I went with woolly mammoth as my spirit animal retro sunset I chose retro sunset because that's what's in the actual design and then I figured this is more for men and boys and I just copied and pasted my title and I used it as bullet one and bullet two you could probably write in some more keywords, but honestly, in my opinion, I think if someone's looking for a woolly mammoth shirt, they're probably just going to type in woolly mammoth. Like maybe I could have used like Asian elephant or something like that. Maybe that would have worked or maybe added in some more demographics like mom, dad, uncle, or maybe some holidays like Christmas, Halloween, 4th of July. But I think this is good enough. And then for the brand, I just mammoth. And I went ahead and actually already uploaded it before recording this video. And here we can see that this is the design. It has gone through. So this is it right here. Same title as I showed you, same brand, and it is currently in processing. And if we go to my pretty merch, you can see that it is actually just about to, or maybe let's see, did it go live yet? Maybe I can show you the actual sales page. I've been doing a lot of uploading today. Let's see how many I got. 243 all manual. Um, I'm trying to actually get tiered up. As you can see here, I'm at 80%. 
8,000 tier seller. Hopefully I'll get up to, I'm not too sure what they'll bump me up to, but uh, I need to get uh, tiered up here because I got a lot of designs to upload. Um, so within two months here, I'd like to get tiered up. Let's see, did it go through? Yes, it is live. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. So standard, see how it turned out. Sorry, my internet is taking forever. Okay. Okay, there it goes. So you see I started low, 1399. Once it starts to get some sales, I'll slowly bump it up to 1499, then maybe 1799. You know, with these evergreens, I like to price high, maybe like 1999, even 2299. But I think this actually looks pretty good in my opinion. And here you can see the uh, keywords in bullet one and bullet two. All right, so that is the niche that I have for you guys today. Low competition, evergreen niche, woolly mammoth. Um, check out this video. I don't know if I'll be able to leave the link, but if you just type in woolly mammoth, um, it should be the one that just popped up about 23 or 24 hours ago. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to support the channel, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. I got a couple of affiliate links in the description. One is for Flying Research, and the other one is for Creative Fabrica. And if you want to learn how I get sales like this on a daily basis, check out the first link in the description. It's a course that I have for Merch by Amazon on Udemy. It's only 20 bucks. It's good for beginners or for people that are struggling to get sales on Merch by Amazon. Um, or beginners are for Merch by Amazon. Um, now, I'm probably not going to have a video come out tomorrow because I have to do my taxes. All right, so taxes are coming up, so I just need to take a day off of everything and basically just sit down, do that, get it done, so I just don't have to think about it anymore, so I can just get back to work, focus on uploading more merch shirts and making YouTube videos. All right, so that's the video for today. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.